New 911 audio released by the police has offered more harrowing details on what might have been a suicide attempt from Kim Scott in July. A frantic new 911 call has offered more details into what might have been a suicide attempt from Kim Scott at her home in Detroit, Michigan in late July. The ex-wife of rapper Eminem had been been found bleeding excessively on her bathroom floor with an unidentified object on July 30, according to a police report previously obtained by Hollywood Life, and now, new 911 audio obtained by The Sun, which could be accessed here, has revealed that Kim, 46, was also surrounded by pills. An unidentified female could be heard telling the 911 dispatcher that Kim had just tried killing herself and that she excessively pleaded to the female to don't call the police. In the audio released by the Macomb County Sheriff's Office, the caller revealed Kim took a bunch of pills and harmed herself. Kim was eventually taken to the hospital following the 911 call. Per the initial police report, one of Kim's friends contacted the authorities after they received an out-of-character text message that prompted concern. Upon arrive, the police noted Kim had difficulty speaking and fluctuated in various levels of consciousness. HL previously reached out to Eminem's rep for comment, but has not yet heard back. The two married in 1999 but divorced two years later. While they reconciled and remarried in 2006, the duo divorced three months later. Related Gallery Eminem, Photos of the Rapper Cam and Eminem, real name Marshall Mathers III, share children Haley Jade, 25, Whitney, 19, and Elena Marie, 28, together. Kim has been vocal about her mental health troubles and past suicide ideations before, revealing that her ex-husband has been supportive of her recovery. A year after she was involved in a DUI car accident in 2015, Kim called into a radio show and revealed the accident was a suicide attempt. I sat at the end of a road where I knew that no one else but myself would get hurt, she said, according to Extra. Yes, I drank, I took pills, I hit the gas and aimed for a pole. Kim added that she had been suffering from depression and has been getting help. She then added of her ex-husband, he has been real supportive. We are really close friends. We are just trying to raise our kids together and make it as normal for them as possible. If you or someone you know is in crisis, call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 1-800-273-TALK, 8255, or contact the Crisis Text Line by texting TALK to 741741.